I just, I want to grab the third verse, bro, and I'll be out of your hair, yeah? I don't have the third bro, verse. Bro, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I didn't shoot. Oh my god! It's Israel Life right now. How's it going, YouTube? I'm Landon, and let's talk about what's trending in the news. There's so much to talk about today. Right now, everyone is going crazy about this third verse. Jake and Logan Paul have been going back and forth making music videos dissing each other, and I think it's brilliant because the audience is now going back and forth on both channels. It started off with a video months ago titled The Low Gang Sucks a Diss Track Official Music Video. Numbers don't lie. No. The Low Gang is shit. And why don't we? The video received over 16 million views, so Logan Paul came out with his own music video titled The Fall of Jake Paul, and his video received over 51 million views. Hey Jake, I made one phone call. I got the same house as you. Same cars too, it's really not that hard. Oh hey, by the way, welcome to the top, little brother. Feels good, huh? But let's not forget how you got here. Yeah, Little brother Jakey try to roast me? What? So then came the second verse, which I thought was the best one, and everyone since then has been demanding a third verse to this like brothers battle thing that's been going on. Jake Paul has been hinting that there is a third verse to these diss tracks, and everyone since has been demanding them. Logan Paul got involved as well, and he has been asking Jake, where is this third track? Where is this third verse? So something tells me that with all of this demand now, there is gonna be a third diss this track, it's just a matter of who puts one out first. Is it gonna be hashtag Jake Paul or hashtag Logan Paul? I don't think the third track was like planned, but strategically, I think they should create a third and a fourth one. Let me know if you guys like the Paul brothers in the comment section below. Put hashtag Jake Paulers if you like Jake or hashtag a low gang if you like Logan Paul. All right, moving on. This is a sad story about eight year old Gabriel who hung himself with a necktie in his home in Cincinnati back in January of this year. Well, his parents has just filed a lawsuit against the Cincinnati Public School District. The civil rights and wrongful death lawsuit alleges the school did not properly respond to Gabriel being bullied at school and did not inform his parents of a bullying incident that happened in the bathroom of the school, of his school, and this occurred two days before his death. There was security footage that showed Gabriel getting knocked out unconscious by the bully and the incident may have led to Gabriel taking his own life. What do you guys think of this story? It's really crazy. Do you think the school is responsible for getting, you know, Gabriel help? Are they responsible for him committing suicide? When there is a bullying incident in the school, is the school responsible for telling the parent? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Another messed up story is a cafe in Melbourne, Australia is giving male customers an extra tax. This tax is 18% and it's for being male. It's a male tax. This is to reflect the gender pay gap. It is said that men earn an extra 17.7% .7 on average, so this cafe Cafe wants men to pay for that. Something tells me this cafe isn't going about this whole situation the correct way, but they were able to raise awareness and start the conversation about this concern. Netflix has just announced the first ever acquisition. They have just made a deal with their creative mind Mark Miller, who is behind the blockbuster movies like Captain America Civil War and Logan. This man is brilliant and Netflix hopes to develop new films, series, and shows with Mark Miller. Netflix is growing super quickly. Just a month ago, they added another 5 million subscribers for a grand total of 104 million people using the service. Netflix has already announced they will be spending $6 billion on these new shows and movies in the upcoming little bit of time. Netflix is blowing away all of its rivals. Since we're talking about movies, it's time to get excited because the original Karate Kid is back. So it's time to wax on and wax off. After 30 years from the original Karate Kid movie, Ralph Macchino and William Zapka have teamed up for this TV series. Here's what we remember the Karate Kid looking like, and then here's him right beside Beside himself, this is his present time. I mean, what a difference 30 years makes. Ralph is now 55 years old. William Zapka, he was the villain in the first movie. I hated his character, but this is what he looked like in the movie, and this is him today. He's now 51 years old. I would love to see Mr. Miyagi in this new like TV show thing that's happening, but he passed away back in 2005 at the age of 73 years old. Moving on, Ryan Reynolds has just shared the first ever look of Josh Brolin's character in the upcoming movie Deadpool number two. Here's what he shared on Twitter. It says, we all have that one. A great
grumpy, heavily armed uncle from the future. Hashtag premium cable. Hashtag Josh Brolin. I think he looks super sick. This is such a sick character. And I can't wait to see the movie. But we're going to have to wait till the summer of 2018. Hopefully it comes soon. Next, we have a clothing brand who is attempting to make the swastika the symbol fashionable. Here we have love. And the O has a symbol in it. This one says peace. And the swastika is huge. Would you guys ever buy a logo that became the Nazi symbol? This symbol has been used by the Nazi party ran by Hitler. This symbol never always used to be like a negative thing, but Hitler turned it like that. It has been associated with racism. So when you're walking around, are you representing racism? Why are they trying to make this thing a positive thing now? And is it even gonna work? So I'm not sure if this clothing company will have much luck in getting people to buy the products, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong. This picture right here has been going viral and it's been freaking people out. A train operator decided to leave a creepy Annabelle doll right where customers scan their tickets to go onto the train. If I saw this, I would turn around and I would just book it the other way and I would just walk to my destination, even if it took two hours to get there. It's just not worth taking the chance. Also in the news is Josh Abzek and Michelle Arandes. They have been all over the news after Josh posted something on his Twitter that went viral. He posted a Tinder conversation between him and Michelle. This conversation went on for three years, but the two would reply every like couple months or so, and they would reply with a very funny excuse to why they weren't able to reply earlier. They both have the same humor to why it takes people so damn long to answer their phones sometimes. Some of the jokes between them were, sorry my phone died, took two months to look for the charge, Another Tinder message read, Hey Josh, wanted to get back to you really, really quickly. And that message was sent like a, a, a month or two after another message. Well, Tinder picked up the story and decided to get this couple to meet for the first time. And Tinder would fly them to any destination that they choose. Well, the couple chose Hawaii and they just got back from Hawaii and they seem to have a pretty awesome time. So are they a couple right now? I think so. They met face to face for the first time on national TV, which is also pretty Awesome. Some more YouTube news for you guys. Jacob Satorius just got swatted, meaning someone called the police to report a serious crime so the SWAT team would have to arrive at his house. On Twitter, Jacob wrote this. I just got woken up after being handcuffed by 15 police with guns pointed to me pinned to the ground. I'll explain later. Another tweet read, there were helicopters flying over our house. Minutes after this video, our back door got kicked down and I was pinned to the ground. He was filming this whole thing until the police knocked the door down, he probably freaked out. Also in the news, everyone has been going crazy about there might be another team on YouTube that's bigger than Team 10. KSI is now roommates with Ricegum and FaceBanks. These are both pretty big YouTubers, pretty awesome YouTubers as well. Well, FaceBanks just made a video titled Getting KSI Back Into YouTube. Little brackets, new team. This might be the new ultimate team with Ricegum, FaceBanks, KSI, and Alyssa Violet. This team might be coming out with a mega diss track to Jake Paul and Team 10. So I'm sure Logan Paul is going to get into the mix as well somehow. This is like a new revolution to YouTube. And the question is for Logan Paul, is he going to be protecting his brother or is he going to go against Jake Paul like he's recently been doing? Also, PewDiePie seems to be interested in joining a team. Maybe that's Team 10. Who knows? It seems like YouTube has divided. And you know what? It's time to choose a side. So what side do you guys choose? The Jake Paulers in Team 10 or KSI and Rice? You guys choose. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.